Dear Mallory, after all these years, our day is finally here. As I think about our life together, I'm reminded of so many wonderful moments. Dear John, when I think of you, I think of the goodness of God, how much he must love us to bless us with this beautiful love. I know we're all happy that y'all are here together and this is happening, so I can't, I can't imagine how y'all feel about at finally getting married tomorrow. I mean, it's about time, <laughs> but. <laughs> when I first met John, we would be walking to class together and all he ever talked about was Mallory. And I hadn't met her yet and I was like, goodness, how is this 20 year old kid obsessed with, he just uh, loves her. And I think that's the truest statement of their relationship is how much love that these two have. And it's very apparent. And all of you guys have been a part of their lives so far and you've got to witness it. And it's a beautiful love. All of you in this room know, you know, kind of what our family has been through with mom's sickness. And I think that um, that makes us special. And um, Mallory's been there for all of it. Mallory has fit in so well to not only our family, but John and I's friendship. And Mallory has been, been a constant in our family when our family has not had a lot of constants. As a sister, you always pray for your sister's future spouse. And man, we are all blessed with John. We couldn't be more thankful she gets to spend forever with someone who understands and loves her so well. Mallory, you and John's love story will be the best one you ever tell, and y'all's impact will be one for God's glory. To, to great, great love stories and to Mallory and John. <laughs> You have an uncanny ability to turn the little things into sweet memories. The six hour phone calls in ninth grade because neither of us could bear the thought of hanging up. I think of a silly joke that turns into a belly laugh. I think of the first time I heard you sing. To borrow a quote from a favorite book of mine, when you sing, even the birds stop to listen. I also think of the woman you've become, so full of grace, so thoughtful and kind hearted. <laughs> You're Christ-like, always reminding me about what really matters. You're strong-willed and determined. You believe in me when I'm discouraged and have long given up on myself. And I know that you will be an incredible wife. You love, protect, and serve me so well. You are my best friend, my partner, and the love of my life. Since I was a little girl, I've prayed for my future husband. And I can say with confidence that the Lord has answered each of my prayers with you. Scripture says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I will be in their midst. And he is here in this place today. So on behalf of both of the families, the bride and the groom, we welcome you here today. And we thank you for sharing this very special occasion with us. John and Mallory, is, you two have been a couple for the last seven years. To me, it seems like yesterday when you two began this relationship. <laughs> On this particular day, I remember dropping John off at Mallory's house. But I remember at this point, I realized that I was being replaced by this beautiful young lady. And for the record, Mallory, it was worth it. There's no other young lady that I would rather have John spend his life with than you. Now, John and Mallory, by the power vested in me, as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and what God has joined together, let no man separate. John, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Mark Fuller. Woo!